What am I about to hear? What am I about to hear, mate? <laughs> oh my! F Maximum yellow hoodie, please. Yes, sir. I know. It's yellow, right? Look. New edition. Well, it could be. It's either this one or the red one. What do you think? Neither. The red one you can see on my Instagram if you go and follow. It's Casper underscore gaming. I'm quite liking the yellow one, I must be honest. It's a little bit out there. It's a little bit like, whoa, whoa. Okay, you want to do that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to fucking do it. And I walk outside and people were like, yeah, shit, yeah, yellow? Bring it on. I'm like, fuck yeah. And then like the red, people were like, ooh, damn. Yeah, ooh, that's fiery hot. I'm like, fuck yeah. Comments below, the red one or the yellow one? I I'll, I'll get the red one then, all right, hang on. Ooh, ooh, shit, yeah. Hey. Eh? Lekker, yeah. What do you reckon, mate? Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I might poll it out. I might do a poll. Also, I've just ordered um, ladies' uh, t-shirt vest things. I didn't expect that to go on for so long. All right, that's what she said. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site. How the devil are you? Today we're looking at a freaky deaky video. Yeah. From a little channel called Goose Pimples. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Because they are on the run, mate, for 100,000 subscribers. Let's get them there, mate. Let's get them there, okay? Um, this video is called Five Scary TikTok Videos That Will Spook Your Socks Off. Okay? I was toying with the idea of doing my own TikTok uh, video this week. But I might leave it for next week. Okay? Yeah, I might leave it for next week. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, mate, let's get freaky deaky. Without further ado, die diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. Number Go on, five. Pimples. Knock, knock, run. Knock, knock, run. Michael and Heather from the TikTok page Southern Haunts have been living a real nightmare ever since they started engaging with the strange happenings in the. That would do it. That there would do it. If you want to see my finger, that there will do it. At home. But, as you probably know by now, paranormal activity doesn't start off terrifying straight away. It builds up over time. If there's somebody here with me right now, can you please open the door? Thank you. If you're mad at somebody in this house or... Mad Okay, it, it's, all right. it's just my imagination. <laughs> Add in general, can you open the door harder? Harder, that's what she said. Please? You mean... Oh my god, I'm so scared. RUN! Oh shit! Oh my god. Is there any oh shadow bastard through there, mate? I am... I got goosebumps, y'all. Goose pimples? Chicken skin. Thank you. Oh, mate. Hey! What's that on the floor? Oh, fuck me, it's the cat. Is that the cat? Is the cat gonna go flying across the room? Hey! Oh, fuck me. Whoa! A fair bit of this shit in hell, mate. Shit in hell, let's go. Footage left their viewers skeptical with comments attributing all of these events to strings, the cat, and even some cheap. The cat moving a fucking chair like that, mate, you're off your head. Cheeky editing. To prove their claims, they started setting up a few more cameras around the house. But things got scarier when the cat started to notice something wasn't quite right. <sighs> that basket just went, motherfucker, I'm gone, I'm gone. What? Oh, mate. Okay, that's going all all loads of different directions.
Go on, pounce on it, mate. Pounce For all on we it. know, somebody could be standing just out of shot and giving us the illusion that there's something spooky lurking in the house. But that thing seemed to like float a little bit. It just sort of like lifted and then stopped in midair and floated a little bit. But we can't deny that the cat definitely clocked onto something fishy. No pun intended. At this point, you might be thinking to yourself, but this is just a boring ass footage of someone pulling some strings, right? Let's take a look at how it all started then. This was their first mistake. Arouse. Here. You let your finger off the fucking thing. I'm freaked out now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mate! Shit in hell! If I heard that bang. If I heard that bang, mate, when I was doing that, I would have sh There's my mouth. There's my ass. Exit. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Run! Was that upstairs? Rambo it, mate. Rambo it. Oh, my God. Oh my god, no! Oh. oh fucking hell mate, I hate that shit, I hate that shit. Just imagine, just imagine that would be the worst fucking nightmare ever, right? Just having fun at home, okay? Hey! Hey, girlfriend! What's up, boyfriend? I don't know, opposite voices probably. Should we get our Ouija board out? I think that's a great idea! Let's go do it! Start playing around with the Ouija board, okay? Things are so all of a sudden are flashing about and then you got somebody b fucking running around in your house Huh within like a millisecond. Holy shit, mate. You'd be like that was probably the worst idea ever <laughs> Heather does try and close the session by frantically saying goodbye, but it was too late it's too late Both their hands flew off the planchette before that and that's all it takes. Oh, you can't, you can't stop it there, mate. You can't say sorry now, hey? It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Many paranormal investigators seem to believe that removing your hands from the planchette before saying goodbye can open a portal that invites entities into your home through the board. And it seems like something definitely decided to shack up at the top of the stairs. Oh my God, no. After this, the activity <sighs> ramped up whenever they try to get a good night's sleep. Shh, shh, turn it down, turn it down. What the fuck is that? Oh fucking hell, mate. I know this could be fake. It could be fake. But that's stepping. That's stepping. That's stepping, mate. <laughs> That's stepping going up the stairs. Ching, 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 ching. Like, what? That's fucking creepy, man. That's creepy. I don't know. <laughs> Never ending stairs, please! Who's there? Oh, fucking hell, this is horrible, mate. This is horrible. What is it? Is it somebody swinging in the air or something? What the? Oh my god! Holy shit! Come on! They would throw- That was a sis? Or a hiss? It could be a sis. It could be a hiss. It could be a- Sir. Open their bedroom door after hearing chaos rack through their kitchen, only to see all their cupboard doors thrown open. Wake up! Wake up! What? There's somebody ringing the doorbell. How is it always d b broad daylight in this place? It's like two o'clock in the morning. What? Well, how the fuck is it two o'clock in the morning, mate? Unless she's just turned on the light. She must have just turned on the light. Okay, maximum darkness. Let's go. Go check and see if someone's at the door. Is 
Is anybody there? No. I was going crazy. What's that he's got in there? What, what's that? Is he going to beat this thing off with a bloody uh, chopstick? That's what she said. <laughs> shut, shut and lock the door. Lock the door. There's no way somebody ran off that fast. And when they open their door, nobody... What has he got in his hand? Is that a drumstick? What is that? Oh, is that a, a, a baton? Is that a police uh, baton? Be anywhere in sight. Turn the way on. It's happening again. He's doing it again! This motherfucker's doing it again! Oh my god. Come on! What is that? Oh, it's a, okay. Oh shit, he's gonna turn the light on, it's gonna be up there. Oh no, okay. Oh, that's it, Rambo with me, come on! Oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh shit! And their chairs will be scraped across the floor before all the lights cut out, engulfing them in darkness. But soon, the nighttime activities bled into broad daylight. Is that the front? That's the front door? That one seems very... Oh, fucking hell, mate. She was there as well. Wait, hang on a second. Is it... Have I seen this one? Mate, this is... This is so old, this one. This one's ages old. What the hell? I remember this one. This is... What? Hang on. What the fuck am I doing here? Fuck me, that was a voice, mate. But I don't remember all of the other scenes. I don't remember any of the other scenes, apart from this one scene with the, with the doors going back and forth all around the house. Yeah. Holy shit. I remember this. Let's move on. Actually, I won't move on. I won't move on because there could be something extra that I haven't seen. If there isn't, I'll skip it and you'll see the next video. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I think it's shit like this, mate. This is like the updates. Do you hear that? You hear the footsteps? Turn the lamp on. Oh, 
Oh, mate, imagine that. It's tapping on the front fucking door, like your bedroom door, after hearing footsteps walking up the stairs, mate. F that shit, mate. I'm not even entertaining that idea. Oh, shit, he rammed the shit out of that. Oh, fuck, was that a shadow bastard? Was that a shadow bastard? No, it wasn't. It was just that. The knocking didn't stop. It only got worse. At first, they thought it was only coming from the outside of their home, but they soon came to the dire realization that something was hidden behind each one of their doors. Yeah. The doorman. They're like that, mate. They're, they're both there. These two are both there. Unless they've got like an actor at the back there, or a mate, like every single video that they do. What? You know, if you're your mate, can you come over? Like, we've got another TikTok video to do. You'd be like, oh, fucking hell. Can you get somebody else to throw some books around and shit, mate? I I've got things to do. You know? Unless they've got a third person living with them. Yeah, the fucking ghost. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh. Right, this ghost is wrecking the joint. Absolutely wrecking the Their joint. The house started getting messier and messier, and then the activity became a little less playful and a little more violent. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Mate, he's doing the dishes, don't worry about it. That's it, get, get the bloody fire washing up, liquid. That's it, close the door then. No, close the door. No, just close the door. Don't open it. Just make it close the Hey, thank you. Hey! Take the piss. That's enough water. Turn it off. No? Okay. Shit. Oh, shit. Although this last clip seems a little suspicious, that everything is. I, I, hang on. I don't see. That's the stuff I don't find suspicious at all. Okay. Uh, uh, a cupboard opening and stuff like that. But then cutlery just uh, like flying about crockery flying about when, once the doors open like a drawer opens then individual knives and forks start flying out that i don't find suspicious the other stuff like y you know maybe um the banging and stuff you know that could be just someone like banging the door but i don't find this stuff suspicious it's the other way around for me it's being pulled the same way and that the lights are off perhaps it could be obscuring the truth Although the lights are quickly turned back on in the next clip. Disco Inferno going on in here, mate. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Okay, I think I've just summoned the ghost. Some commenters away. seem to believe that the lights flickering is Morse code. Some say it spells get out, and others say it's just gibberish. From this point on, things started- I think it could be, um, dum dum. Gimme gum gum. To get physical though. Thanks for that, by the way. Things get physical and they go straight to the bloody bedroom, right? What are we about to see? Oh, oh, oh down bottom right, down bottom right. <laughs> And a light. We can't see Shit, anyone pulling what? on her hair, but it's definitely oh her hair, mate. Moving, Harry Potter's invisible cloak or a real poltergeist haunting. 
let us know what you think. And there's something on the right there. What the F? In the comments. Number four. Number the four. house. Like maximum video, please, mate. What the hell? Of dolls. If you have been trembling at our scary compilations for a while, you probably remember Rosemary, the haunted reborn doll. A huge shout out to our owner for somehow making us cower at dolls even more with every video she uploads on her TikTok page. It's Rosemary time. Rosemary, the haunted doll, has been caught doing a whole lot of creepy stuff and a lot of people have been convinced she has some kind of motor placed inside of her. But does she really? Before we cut her open- Look at the state of you, mate. What the hell? Open. Let's watch what this haunted doll has been up to lately. Look at it, mate. My, 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 my missus loves that shit. Dolls that look ex like, exceptionally like real babies. Exceptionally? That's probably the wrong word. Whatever. Right? She's got a thing about that sort of stuff. It freaks me right out. It's just so weird, mate. Look at you pointing at me, huh? Look at you. Look at it. Look how real you look. <laughs> F you, mate. I'm just a little bloody baby doll. Throughout every clip, Rosemary's owner tries to debunk the movement showing us multiple angles and close-ups to prove what she's experiencing is real paranormal activity. <laughs> Surely, it's got to be someone tampering with the doll, right? Well, how do we explain this? Did that just face just fucking start looking straight away when the light came on, mate? Am I am I right in thinking it's just can you see this light? Okay. Am I right in thinking it just went like that? Did it just do that? It's okay, it's looking away. Probably uh, this direction. One direction. <laughs> what? Really? No, it didn't. I think it was... No, it was looking straight at us. Okay. There could well be someone hiding off camera and flicking the light off, but it's pretty clear that no one was doing it when it first turned on. Is there another light switch for that room somewhere else in the house? We should trust Rosemary's owner when she tells us that there isn't, because what happened next is pretty damn hard to explain. Oh, God. Look at you. Hello. It's always the right arm, isn't it? It's the right arm, mate. What's up with the right arm? It's got a mind of its own. It's, it's doing a TikTok dance. These Mexican waves from Rosemary, without anyone touching it, forced her owner to try a little something. Bloody hell, At mate. At some point, she changed Rosemary's gender and hey, named to- How the fuck did you do that with a baby doll? To Crew Wilder, in hopes that the new identity would free the supposed spirit that lives inside her. Probably just pissed off even more. But of course, it didn't change anything. Yeah, of course. She also tried placing her in different rooms, but no matter where she went, Rosemary still felt restless. Oh God. What this is weird as shit, mate. <gasps> Walking in, oh my God, what? The, the problem is because it looks so bloody real, you, you'd be messed up in your head about throwing it away, wouldn't you? I can't, I can't, especially now that it moves. It's a real baby. No, no, it's a real looking baby that moves. Are you going to throw that shit away? Are you going to be like, you throw it away, you'd be lying in bed going, but what if it was real, you know? <laughs> Freaking your eye out. And this wasn't just a one off either. It's, it's too cute. Rosemary's owner managed to catch this situation again. It's like I'm getting attached to this baby. I'm getting attached to this bloody baby, mate. From a different angle.
Now rip his head off. Now rip his head off and see if there's any motors. No, okay, don't do that. This is so weird, mate. Red balloon as well. That's um, from something, isn't it? It's pretty clear that nobody's standing behind her. So how does she keep Look moving? at it! Look at you looking at me! Like, the thing is, like, she... The, the, the owner is, is... Is... Is using this thing like it's a real baby. Dressing it in different things, you know? Playing with it, letting it see balloons, taking it to the fucking bathroom, you know, washing it. What, what, what the, what's the score there, man? Look! It's always that right arm. Oh, shit in hell, man. Hello. Uh, hello, you bastard. This is so, that is so damn weird. If you thought that was creepy, wait until Rosemary gets taken apart. Oh, Surely, Christ. Surely, there's got to be something inside of her that's making her act this way, right? She does not have a moving mechanicism in her batteries or strings or anything to manipulate her to move on the inside of her. So, just a fair warning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, warning. Right, okay, listen. I'm not about to rip off a real baby's head, okay? She's a doll, not real, okay? To everyone, she is a doll. She is not real. I wouldn't do this to a real child. So, anyway. Fuck it I already not, mate. have the scissors on the back of her neck. So, we could cut her zip tie. <laughs> so, that's what you see right there. So, we're going to go ahead and cut it. And her head's going to fall off. <laughs> so, here we are. So, I'm going to take that zip tie off because you cut it. I have a new one right there by her head. So, you just take all the stuffing out, and that's pretty much all she has. She has stuffing. And this is hard to do with just one hand. Um, I really need to get... So, what, she's done this before? She's ripped this thing out before? Because she's, uh, she's taking that stuffing out as if, like, there you go. I told you, there's nothing in there. It's just stuffing. Have you done this before? Like a tripod or something. Eventually. So... Oh, okay, I just thought that was a big bag of stuffing there. <laughs> Where she's doing this video and then she's she's bought another bag of stuffing just to fill it back up again. Are you can are you can tell? Is that a bag of stuffing? Is she just fucked up this video? This is all she has in her is just stuffing. Beyond stuffing. And let's try to get all this stuff out of here. And then I can show you. So, as you can see, in her arms, there's no string, there's no nothing. This one, she has a little bit of um, uh, stuffing left, but she does not have anything in her arms, actually. They're actually just all squishy. I don't have glass beads or anything. And then the bottom of her, there's nothing there except for a little bit of uh, glass beads that she had for a while. Glass beads? And the thing in the back. Is oh, that's uh, for for it to sit properly, right? It's actually just to gather her uh, cloth body in the back. So what I'm trying to show you is this area back in here, because people will say, well, that's a string. Well, it's a fabric piece of something to actually that part right there is actually a, a piece of fabric and actually forms her cloth body but it's not very long 
it actually stops to about right there. It actually gathers her body. Now, now leave it there. See if it moves, mate. See if it bloody moves now. In the back to... Imagine if it just got up and just went, just like, spidered across the fucking table or something. Ah! Motherfucker, I'm gone! I'm gone! Create a... Someone of a, a little booty on her and that's all it is. Her arms and legs are completely hollow. There is nothing but stuffing inside there. So how is she moving on her own? Either Rosemary can move, or something is dragging her around the place. Uh, okay, so she's got multiple of these dolls? So is one of them mechanical and one of them's not? Is it me? Did that, did that baby look like Vin Diesel? Not that one. That one. Is that Vin Diesel? It's got the little ear earring in and stuff. Fucking Vin Diesel, mate. Oi, Vin. Oh, shit in hell, mate. Vin, run! She's apparently even handy with a deck. I slowly what do you think multiple about all times? this? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, make sure you give- That was a card in inside the deck. That wasn't the top card. That was a card inside the deck. Hmm. Yeah. Rosemary a follow on TikTok know, at mate. It's Rosemary Time. <laughs> and subscribe to our YouTube channel to fuel your nightmares even more. See, with things like this, why don't they uh, take it to some place that gets like properly- researched you know i would mate if i had a doll like that mate i'd be like this could be maximum money mate you know this is this is proper like go to vegas yeah let everybody look at it and say okay mate i've got this fucking haunted doll all right and then take it to get his experiments and stuff mate take it to another level number three number ghost three pet Sometimes, believing that your beloved pets are still around after death is a warm, comforting Aww. idea. But what happens when that idea becomes a reality? Playing under the blank? What? Are you sure it's not something crawling? Alleged ghost of friend's cat? How big is this cat? How small is this cat? Is it half the size of a kitten? What, what the F? Okay. So I... I got it though. What the... What? Whoa. No fucking. I know you saw that. I know you freaking saw that. I, I saw did that. See, it. see it. I saw that. I got did the you whole see thing. it? I got the whole thing. In the description of this clip, Creepy's Encounters says that they all believe this to be the spirit of a kitten playing under a blanket. A kitten? Or it's a little bit too small for a kitten, mate. Maybe a mouse. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. How can you explain this weird footage? That is weird. Number two, Demon Daisy. There's a long list of reasons as to why you should draw your curtains at night. And this clip uploaded by HussyPay on TikTok is certainly one of them. Away from the windows. What is that? What the fuck is that? What am I about to hear? What am I about to hear, mate? 
Oh my fucking god! Hopefully, this is just a scary made up. Oh my fuck! Oh shit in hell! Look at you! You bold headed, bold bodied little freaking bastard! A clip, but what if it isn't? If this isn't CGI of a demon clawing its way towards the camera, then who is crawling, skinwalker style, towards the house in the middle of the night? The text on this clip translates to, be careful when you go to the forest or the mountains, so it probably followed the original uploader home. If you go down what? to the woods tonight, you might be in for a paranormal punch in the face. Or not. God. Number 1. Curtain Call Your peripheral vision can trick you into believing you've caught a lot of things out of the corner of your eye. Shadows, objects, faces, all sorts. But you can mm. usually just brush it off as seeing things. Although, that sense of security quickly flits into thin air when you catch your suspicions on camera. What, what, what? Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the state of this. Look at this. Ready? What the fuck is that, mate? Look at you! What the fuck is that? Excuse me, if in language. Huh? Look, they've got no fucking idea. They've got no idea that there's an alien bastard behind them. Did you catch it? Yeah! Look closely at the red arrow next to the curtain when the camera pans around. Either somebody had one hell of a rough night, or they- <laughs> Whatever, rough night. <laughs> Let me in, I've had a rough night. He's having a rough night right there, look, look at him. Let us know what you think this could be in the comments. Bonus video. Bonus video. Moving into a new place comes with its aches and pains, but the last thing you expect is a shadow monster lurking at the oh, bottom God. of the stairs. Oh, please. Oh fucking hell, look at you. Look at that cat as well. Like, doesn't care. Doesn't care. I recognize that woman when she's like, no, 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 no. I recognize her. Is that the. Is that the this is the couple with the shop. That cat. Oh! I just, I just saw on the left. Oh my god! Fucking hell! Why are you moving like that as well, you little bitch? Oh no! Oh! No, no, no. Oh, fucking hell, mate! Did you notice the jump cut oh. just after the um figure disappeared downstairs? Keep an eye on this orb and you'll notice the jump cut pretty clearly. Which we could assume it's the movement when whoever was downstairs came upstairs to give them a fake paranormal punch in the face. I bet it made you jump out of your seat though. Nah, not Here's at all. Here's another mate. one uploaded Just by Joe it. Brown, Ghost Hunter, on TikTok. <laughs> oh, I missed it. I missed it. What? Uploaded by Joe Brown, Ghost Hunter, on TikTok. Oh, mate, imagine I just married! <laughs> We're gonna have the time of our lives! I plug that. Come on, come on, just take the video! <laughs> if you're curious about Danny Donahue, we covered his videos a while back in a compilation that was meant to show you guys some channels who everyone believes to be real, but the creators themselves are pretty honest about their fictional content, mm. like Tim Morozov, Dark Ghost, etc. <laughs> Tim Morozov, that's it. I've told you guys, okay? I've told you that's why I don't react with um, Tim Morozov anymore because uh, they're not real. They're fake. And he, he tells people, you know? So, um, and who is the other person he said? 
fictional content like Tim Morozov, Dark Ghost, etc. Dark Ghost? I heard of that one. <laughs> if you want to know the truth. Oh, Dark Ghost. Yes, I have. Yeah, that's um, the guy with the, with the white cross over his mask. Yeah. <laughs> the merch at kespersite.com just rambo it there you go mate wow they were pretty damn good mate goose pimples you did it again buddy well done anyway i hope you liked it and if you did like it make sure you leave a little like mate or don't bother you don't have to i'll see you on the next one take care bye bye